remember anything. I was up to two o'clock this morning learning French vocabulary. Now it's all gone. All I keep getting is life and the play keep coming into the head. So do I. I even dream about the play. I'm going to do really bad in these exams, I know it. So what? Well, I won't get into the O-level set, will I? Big deal. Look at it. You might not care about these exams, but I want to go to PE college, and you need O-levels for that. She'd never agree to take Jackie's part then, should you? You're jealous? No. You can mind. I've spent all the time learning Vault, and now I'm Vault. Only because you said you wanted to be Vault. Well, I do, don't I? But I still have to learn it all. Oh, look who's here. Didn't stay long in France, did you, Rolly? Did you really go all the way to France? Yeah. What happened? Came back, that's all. Think in Ed case, if you ask me. They caught him trying to get on the coach to Paris, didn't they, Roland? So what they do? Sent him back on the next boat. Did your dad come and meet you off here? Oh, did he? Yeah, he did. And Mr. Bronson. Shut up, why you got to blab everything out? Bronson, you mean he went all the way to Dover to meet him? Why do you guys will? Go on, tell us why did he? Because he didn't know Mr. Browning was going. You mean they both went chasing down to meet him? Nice one, Rowley. He must have been absolutely livid, Bronson. He was. His dad wasn't too pleased either. How do you know so much about it anyway? I went with his dad. Whereas it would have made much more sense to come back to school and report what was happening. Sit down, all of you. Before I take the register, there are two announcements. Firstly, there is to be a meeting about the school play at lunchtime. I may say that I don't know who was responsible for the disgraceful vandalism of the sets. But whoever it was has no doubt put an end to the play. Oh, no. Not after all that. It's not cancelled, is it, sir? Why? Do you want it to be? Secondly, will all those taking exams go directly to their examination room after registration? You do not, I repeat, not go to assembly. But is it cancelled, sir? Well, is it or not? Barnet? Sir. Ah! Less noise, please, first year. <laughs> yes, then we do worry. Yes, miss, you said we were doing hot. Well, I've changed my mind. Robbie, we run those out, please. <laughs> what do you want us to draw, miss? There's a still life on the table. <laughs> oh, miss, not that. It's boring. Well, I'm afraid it'll just have to be boring. I'm rather fed up with bending over backwards to make art interesting in this school. Only to have the results destroyed by mindless idiots. What's she on about? It's the sets, isn't it? They all got slashed. Is that what it is, miss? That's not our fault, miss. We didn't do that. Well, it must be somebody in this school who did it. It just means that all the hard work that was put into it has gone to waste. No one will see it. Can't it be repaired, miss? No, it can't. There's no time. The fourth years are in the middle of exams. Anyway, what would be the point? Some other wretched little wrecker would only come along and do the same thing all over again. So what's going to happen about the play? It'll just have to be done on a bare stage. Oh, me. I've got an idea. What's it feel like? <laughs> <laughs> Miss? Yes? It's meant to be town scenes, isn't it? Yes. Waste ground and stuff. Well, some of it. I've got an idea how we can get a new set together. No, it's no good. There's no time. There is, Miss. If we all did it, it'd only take a double lesson. We could do it now. Yeah. A mattress, miss. How about a mattress? I don't think so, thank you, Luke. It's probably full of fleas. What about this, miss? Oh, yes, that's fine. Miss, these window frames are good. Oh, yes, except I don't know how we're going to carry it all. We can sort that out, miss. We've got friends in the van can collect that. Oh, look at that. Hey, miss, if I get in the van, there's loads of bits of cars and stuff we can take round. These bumpers are great. They're all rusty. Don't matter, do it, miss. We can paint them up. What'd you say, miss? Should you get my mates to bring the stuff round to the school? Let's not get carried away, Luke. We've got to leave room on the stage for the actors. What if someone cuts themselves? A lot of the stuff's jagged. We get tetanus. Let's just take these things for the moment. We can always come back if we need more. Looks even better than the other ones. No, certainly does not. However, I suppose it's some improvement on the bare stage. We're going now, Miss. Oh, yes, but remember there are exams going on, so go quietly. I'll get my mates to bring up stuff this afternoon, Miss. They're not off quite early. Okay, fine. Boys, thanks. Why? 
Yeah, but I found the dump in the first place. It was me who had the idea for the set. All right then, I'll be generous. Let you in on it. Thank you. Yourself. Can't help it. Mend their sets for them. Find their fee for them. Yeah, what did happen about that? You bugged me so A detention? Me? They weren't there. Bye. What is this appalling noise? Don't you know that our examination's in progress? Sorry, sir. Go along to your next class. In silence. Yes, sir. Can I help you? Sorry, sir. I didn't see you. Oh, don't tell me you've come to bug my office now. No, sir. Well, what have you come for? Uh, nothing, sir. I don't like people coming into my office when they think I'm not here, Gardner. There are too many people up to no good around this school. And for all I know, you may be among them. Now, why are you here? I've come to collect something, sir. Is it something of yours? Not exactly, sir. Oh, what do you mean, not exactly? That dummy. I understand you disrupted yesterday's swimming lesson with that. Yes, sir. Is that why you're here? Did it always have this ridiculous patch of hair on the top. No, sir. See, the thing is, that's Mr. Bronson's airpiece, sir. Of course! One and I think of it. Is that why you're here? Yes, sir. See, the thing is, we were planning to return it to him. Tactfully like. Yes. May one ask how the dummy came to be wearing Mr. Bronson's airpiece? It's a long story, sir. Well, I think you'd better tell me all about it, don't you? What's the matter? Nothing. Oh, I'm bored, that's all. I'm glad when I get back to school. No, it's boring there as well. Not as boring as it is doing nothing all day. There's still always something going on at school. I should be doing my mock exams by now. Oh, do you think they let me do them later? You better get used to doing nothing. She's going to be doing it all the time once she leaves school. Oh, darn it. You still fill up about the play as well? Yeah. What are you? They might not be doing it. Why not? It's just something I heard. What? Nothing. She's had a bit of an accident with her sets. It's a pity about that, isn't it? Serves my wife for throwing us out. Quite a few misdemeanors to our name, haven't we, Gardner? Yes, sir. Mm. Stealing poor Mr. Bronson's hairpiece. Entering the staff room. Eavesdropping on what goes on in there and coming into my office when you think I'm not here. Plus numerous reports from subject teachers about erratic attendance at lessons. Have you got anything to say? No, sir. Well, I have. Oh, sorry, bad moment, is it? I'll come back in ten minutes. Thank you. And I intend saying it to your mother and father. I shall write to them and ask them to come and see me. Cheer up. Could have been worse. At least he's going to make sure Bronson gets his will. No, but talking to my dad. My dad will cool when he's what I've been up to. Yeah. He said you were easily led. Who did? Smart. Why ain't? That's what I said. I told him he'd come to his office with me. You never. Of course I didn't twit. Why am I joking? I'm not going to get murdered at home. Especially when I get my exam results. You ain't had your exams yet. You might do all right. I can't, can I? I ain't been at half the lessons. Well, you can do the maths, right? Yeah, probably. And you can do the English? More or less. Well, then. Yeah, what about science? And French? And history? I could give you a bit of coaching if you want. Oh, Vince. Well, I'll move out my way, will you? You could ask Vince. He's a little swat on the choir. Vince's? You've got to be joking. No, I'm not. He likes to keep up with the teachers, don't he? He's gone and made some tapes. All he needs to know are the exams. What? He's gone and made some tapes. Haven't you seen him going round with his headphones on? Bet you thought he's listening to Cult Club, but he ain't. If you can't 
okay if you stick around, Julie? I think you might be about to witness something rather amusing. I haven't time, Nick. I've got a million things to do. Morning. Ooh, what a marking, I think. Yes. Well, I'm glad I managed to catch you before I nip off. Morris, I've got something of yours. Something I think you may have lost a few days ago. Is this what I think it is? I imagine so. Where did you find it? It was left on my desk. By whom? Ah, well. I'm afraid my lips are sealed. Oh, come on. Nicholas. This was a personal attack on me. I have a right to know who did it. Oh, I don't think it was meant as a personal attack. More of a prank that misfired. <coughs> the culprits are in my year, and I do assure you they are being dealt with in the appropriate manner. I'm glad you find it so amusing. Thank you. <laughs> They've only put it in the washing machine. They think it's shrunk. <laughs> they do. Hello. Alright. Oh, alright. How are you? I'm alright. Is it true the place been cancelled? No, who told you that? Some that I went and matched up the sets, that's all. Mucked up? Yeah. Slashed them, squirted all paint everywhere. What a rotten thing to do. Yeah, just going to the meeting now. See if anything could be done. My suspension ends today. I'll be back at school tomorrow. See you then. Yeah, see ya. So if we have scooter back riding on the bare stage and then move the rubble onto the scrapyard seats. Well, does that mean you're going to have to clear it all for the rock and roll members at the end? Well, yes, unfortunately it does. But I thought perhaps Monkey could get rid of the things. Oh, yeah, all right. Yeah. What's all this? It's our new set. He looks really stupid. It's not really our new set, is it, miss? It will be. Oh, miss. We better do it on an empty stage. That just looks like some old rubbish dump. Look, if you can't say something helpful, just don't say anything at all, all right? Can you all gather around and listen, please? As you can see, we have a new set. I don't want any adverse comments about it. When it's painted and lit, it'll be quite effective. And in any case, it'll have to do. Now, because of the new set, we're going to have to re-block some of the scenes. So I want to do a run-through of Act 1 this afternoon, and tomorrow afternoon we'll do Act 2. Oh, I in can't come tomorrow, miss. It's the sports day is, and the bus for the sports ground leaves at 2, and we won't be back till 6. At the earliest. Yeah, yeah. Faye, you're playing one of the most important parts in the play. You'll have to come. I mean, you know the trouble we've had. Surely you realise this is more important than running around a field. It's not just running around a field, miss. You and your stupid sport. You know, Faye, it's all very well being an active member of the school community, but you're going to have to learn not to overcommit yourself. I'm going to have to learn. Faye, when you took on this part, you were making a commitment. Please don't decide now that other things are more important. Look, I only took on Avril when Jackie got suspended. I didn't want to do it. Yes, you said right from the start she couldn't do a big job. You part. asked me to. You said otherwise the play will be cancelled. We've got to do it. Otherwise the play cannot go on. I can't. Look, it's not my fault if the stupid school has to organise sports and plays and exams all at the same time. And it's not my fault that the sets get smashed up and we have to have extra rehearsals. You just think all you have to do is to tell us to turn up and nobody's got anything else to do but come. Well, I can come this afternoon, but I can't come tomorrow. Well, if you can't come tomorrow, there's absolutely no point in coming today. Right then, I won't come today then either. Well, I hope the rest of you don't feel the same way. You mean we're going to have the rehearsal without Faye? I don't think there's any point in that, miss. And I can't come either. I've got to go to the eats as well. Yeah. All right. All right, if that's the way you feel, no play. I still say closer to Mr Athletics for once. Yeah, but you know what she's like. What are you doing here? Can't stay away from the place, can you, Banksy? Watch it, Maguire, because I'm back tomorrow. I'm really worried. Yeah, I would be if I were you. Yeah. So where's the play going, then? It's a shame about the sets, isn't it? Morning, morning. Connie, do you know what? Go on, just 
going to cheat in the exams. How? He's going to bring his form in and a tape with all the answers on it. How can he do that when he don't even know what the questions are? I don't know, but he is. He's pinch mints his tape. Pins is furious. Flipping bunch. Thinks he can get away with what he likes. Well, we'll see about that. Give me back my tape. You said you was only going to borrow it for one night. But what do you want it for? You haven't got any time to do any more revision now. Leave review. I'll give you a back after the exam, all right? No! Look, you can't use it in the exam. You want to bet? If you do, you're really stupid, Gonch. And anyway, you know you're not supposed to have Walkmans in school. Oh, what are you going to do? Grasp me up? Give me tight. Give me back my tight. It's not in there, Bonehead. Give me my tight. I'll give you back later. You want to get your mum to feed you up a bit, old son? Oh, it's not fair. If he gets a good mark, he won't. No one, no. If he's listening to my tape, he ain't going to be listening to your tape. I just swapped it for the meteors. Where's my tape? Can I have it? No, not until after the exam. You're going to get into much worse trouble if you get caught, you know. Man, nothing to lose. I mean, if I don't take this in with me, I have a hope. It's worth the risk. The bad spot the earphones when you put them on. They're not that stupid. Nah, I've got it all planned. You'll see. Gardner, what on earth are you wearing that scarf for? I've got earache, miss. Really bad. The doctor said I've got to keep my ears covered. Did he? Oh, well. <coughs> Settle down now, please. Right, now, Mr. Bronson's asked me to tell you that this French paper this morning, which is an hour long, has a misprint. You're to answer three questions, not five. Has everybody understood that? Yeah. Three questions only. Yeah. Right, you may turn your papers over now. What's going on down there? This is the examination, in case you've forgotten. Good morning. Hello, Morris. Oh, Morris. That last Tuesday? Yes. A little bird tells me it's Gardner and Oliver you're looking for. Thank you. Right, time's up. Finish the sentence you're writing. Thank you, Miss Wood. Going deaf, are we, boy? You've not been cheating, have you, Gardner? No, sir. Then what are you doing with a tape recorder in the exam? Just music, sir. Sort of soothes me nerves. That we will have to investigate. <laughs> Donington and Wright collect the papers. The rest of you may leave. Except for Gardner's Holloway. Have you been listening to that noise throughout? That may explain why you did not hear the change of instruction. You were supposed to answer three questions, you little nincompoop, not five. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Now then. I understand that you two were responsible for removing an item of mine from the swimming baths last week. Well, were you? Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. What action is Mr. Smart proposing to take about this? I'm going to talk to my dad. Is that going to do any good? I don't know, sir. Is he going to talk to your dad, too? I expect so, sir. Well, I think I may come along and add a few words on that occasion. A suggestion or two as to what might be done to pull you two into line. I don't think Mr. Smart would object to that. Do you? Last one, Frank. A good time, you know. Good. I'm glad. That was a bit close. You beat her easily last year. Yeah, well, I ain't had that much time for trying, have I? I don't know why not. You're the one who got the play cancelled. 
I was not. Planned it all along, didn't you? I heard you the other morning. You was hoping it was going to be cancelled. No, I weren't. You know what I think? I think she sneaked in and smashed up the sets herself. Then, when it wasn't cancelled, because of that, she had to think of something else. Oh, come on. Look, if I really didn't want to be in it, I would have said. Oh, yeah. Take any notice of her. I'm not. Faye, well done. Thanks. Could I have a word? Look, about yesterday, I'm sorry. I think we were both a bit hasty. I just wanted to say that we've both been under a lot of pressure, and I was asking a lot of you. Anyway, I've spoken to the school caretakers and they've agreed to open up the school on Sunday. So if you all feel you could manage it, I'd be grateful. Yes, miss. I'll see what we can do. I'll tell the others. And I'm glad you won, Faye. I told you, I don't want anything to do somebody to do a thing like that. But we've done it for you. You was that fed up when they dropped you from it. I thought I'd show them. Well, you must be mad. I mean, what good does it do smashing up the sets? It don't do me no good now the old thing's off. And everyone's taking out on Faye. I feel terrible. Why, you didn't do it? No, but you did. To that flipping pointless. Women, there's no pleasing them. Who won the girls' hundred metre then? Faye, of course. I knew who wrecked the sets. Those two, I had them talking about it with Jackie. Was she in on it and all? Oh, she was really fed up with him. I don't blame her. Right, this is it. Come, you lot, we're gonna get the others. This time we'll get them. Leave me alone. Get them! You wreck the sets, Banksy. Me? Yeah, it's all your fault. The play's off. I don't know what you're talking about, mate. How could he? You weren't in school. He was suspended. You weren't. It was then, weren't it? It was then, all right. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, well, what are we going to do with him? Sand pit. We'll sort him out over there. <laughs> Not Jackie. She never done it. Thanks. It's all right. You don't know what you hang about with. I'm sorry, Zano. Oh. 